Hey everybody, my name is Gabriel Bowman and I'm super glad you guys clicked on this video once again, honestly. And today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about becoming a man of honor. This morning I was kind of in contemplation, all right? You know, you get your shower thoughts every once in a while and those tend to be some of the most influential thoughts of your entire life for some reason. Probably because outside of the shower, most of our time is occupied by, by us watching YouTube, scrolling on Instagram, on Facebook, Snapchat, texting people, watching Netflix, just wasting our time essentially. Actually, I would say by far, if you spend a lot of your time on social media and whatnot, being in the shower is probably the most important part of your day. I'm dead serious. I'm not even going to lie. Um, that and maybe going to the gym because sometimes you can get some good thoughts in there as well because you're not on your phone. But even then, you're usually plugged into some headphones or earbuds and you just you can't really hear your thoughts anyways okay first of all but because I was in the shower and I was I, I, I had myself pondering on this certain wavelength mostly about the content I was gonna film and really about what was going to make me a successful person in my life I essentially I came to a point when I had recognized or I guess I remembered a story um, from you know Greek mythology right and, and it sounds funny, I don't know the, the story about the actual mythology, but I do remember the Disney movie based off of this story, and that was Hercules. Um, if you guys remember that movie, it is an awesome movie. And uh, I remember being so inspired that by, by that when I was a kid. I was like, oh, this is such a good movie. What a good message. And I recognized that as a kid. And today, I looked up one of those clips. It was the, the I can go the distance, whatever. Um, it's kind of like that, that, that first scene when he first realizes that he, he feels like he is, is meant for more, that he's been made for more, not just to work on this farm his whole entire life. And, and then that's when it was revealed by his parents that, oh, you were dropped off at our door and you had this medal on you, which is the symbol of the gods, which again, I was like, oh, that is also really cool. I mean, you could relate that to so many different things and particularly like, I want you guys to kind of think about that. Ponder about that in your own time. What makes you um, recognizable as a son or daughter of God? Think about that because that to me was like very powerful. And him being reminded this, he he had realized, okay, he says, well, maybe the answers are there in the in the temple. Which again, another piece of truth that every single one of us could use. So he goes to the temple of Zeus. Little does he know he is a literal son of of Zeus. But the song that he kind of sings as he's traveling up there is, I can go the distance, I believe. Something like that. And uh, it's so inspiring to think him, Hercules, he's probably in the place most of us are today, right? In this, that particular part of the story. Where he's a skinny guy, he's, he's kind of, he feels like there's more to life than just to, to just living, really, if that makes sense. And uh, that kind of brings me to the topic of the video, being a man of honor. What makes us men of honor? What would it, what would it require for us to be, to be titled men of honor? I think it's at this point in our lives, in this day in history, men have never been so not men ever, if that makes any sense. Where, I mean, when we're looking at, I can't remember the exact me measurement they use to, to, to measure testosterone levels, but our grandparents, our grandfather had a thousand, I think it's like kilohertz or something of testosterone. And today the average man has about, it's like 320 kilohertz of testosterone. The world's going to tell you all sorts of reasons as to why that might be. And also on top of that, you're also going to get a lot of influences from the outside, usually um, undesirable women. The, you know, the types that go to feminist rallies and, and marches. <laughs> and I, I don't mean that in any wrong way because I believe that their purpose is so important as well. But it's usually these women that are telling you, no, it's okay to be, it's okay that you don't have a, enough testosterone. It's okay. It's okay to be more feminine. It's okay. That's exactly how they say it too. In case you're wondering, why is he making that voice? That's exactly why, right? So they're going to tell you these different things telling you that it's okay not to be a man. Um, it's okay to cry. It's okay to be vulnerable with me. The importance is, it's like, I, 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 heard a, I heard a quote. Why would a bird teach a fish to fly? It just doesn't work like that. Men and women have very equal roles, but completely different in their own rights. So let me get off my high horse because I'm talking way too much. And I'm going to cut this video off in just a second. I'm going to tell you a couple things. If you want to be an honorable man, one of the most important attributes 
is number one, knowing your purpose. An honorable man knows his purpose. He knows his mission. Usually in the movies and in the storybooks in, uh, and everything, there is a call to action in the, in the, in the hero's story. You, uh, like, for example, let's talk about Hercules because this is a great example of this. There's a call to action, right? Hercules one day realizes that he is there for more. He also realizes, um, he learns that very piece of truth, right? That he had that medal on his chest, which represented that he was of the gods. So there's a call to action. Um, the next thing is that there is a mission or a plan, right? And so, for example, I'm going to use Shrek in this example, right? Shrek running through the castle with Donkey at the beginning of, I think it was, was it the first movie? Yeah, so he's going to go save the girl. He's in the castle. He's going to go save the girl, right? Usually there's always a girl in, in every man's journey as well, so it's kind of funny in that, in that sense. Um, the next big thing is usually there is a conflict, right? So something, another challenge that the man does not expect that he has to overcome and essentially defeat. Like, for example, Frodo, he, uh, he experiences this thing where he realizes that this ring is corrupting him, right? So not, not only is he on this time frame where he has to get rid of the ring, but he is being controlled by it, that it is essentially killing him, right? Um, so that is another thing, right? There's maybe a conflict that comes in this story. And at the very end of all things, and I think life continues on for a very, very long time, a man is honorable in, this, in the fact that he is honest and he holds to his standards, which are true to his purpose, which is to, um, I don't know, slay the dragon, to save the princess, ultimately to win. Um, so I think you should design, like think in your mind, what is my purpose? What was my call to action? Have I had it yet? And what's my hero story going to be? Because ultimately, you are not a man if you have no purpose. You are not a man if you are not working on achieving your goals and accomplishing your dreams every single day. For you, your, your, your Goliath, as you might say, your trial, that, that challenge that comes into play that you have to conquer, might be an addiction. It might be a death in the family. But ultimately, as men, we must overcome. That's what God sent us here to do, and we must do things accordingly. Anyways, my name is Gabriel Bowman. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. This was actually a very fun topic to talk about. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Subscribe right now. I'm serious. Why is the camera tilting? What? You guys couldn't even see me that whole time? What the? I will be investing in a, a new tripod. Um, for this, uh, for the next, for soon, soon, whenever I can. Because this sucks. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what the fetch?